Okay, we're leaving Alma. Uh, we didn't uh, leave as early because our location for our destination is Breckenridge, just on the other side of Hoosier Pass, 14 miles away. So uh, we were both up early. We just waited till a good solid daylight to uh, take off. Now just to get the heart rate and lungs working at what altitude or elevation am I at? Uh, good question. Uh, can't swipe the Garmin with my gloves on. I may not be able to tell from the video, but I'm getting ready to start the climb over Hoosier Pass here. If you look up there, you can see snow still on top of the mountain there. We see a sign that says a downhill, which for the most part really could possibly mean just one thing. We're at the top of Hoosiers Pass. I see a sign that indicates we're at the pass. So <laughs> we made it. All right. Oh, wow. The view to the north is unbelievable, but just to prove that we're here on the Continental Divide. John and I did it. There you go, folks. One, excuse me, not 1,000 feet, John. That says 11,000 feet. Five, I'm sorry. That's a uh, eleven thousand five hundred and thirty-nine bridge. <laughs> and believe it or not, my head's clear even though I'm not talking straight. So I'll, I'll prove it again. John, where are we at? We're at Hoosier Pass, elevation eleven thousand five hundred thirty-nine feet. Now was that clear? Yes, that was very was. clear. That was very clear. All the way. All the way. Don't pick out. Yeah. yeah. We start, started May 17th in Virginia, Norfolk. Oh, wow. And then uh, he's headed to uh, Oregon. I'm headed to Canada and then down into Seattle. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So you just have the Rockies and the Sierras to go. Yep. <laughs> Me and yep. Buddy just did San Francisco to Reno. Okay. okay. So we're doing it one week of summer. And oh, his bike looks yeah. like yours. Yeah. Because you're going to Norfolk too, aren't you? We're going to end up in North Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. So eight years from now. Then. Oh, yeah. They're doing one leg each summer. Are you hey, doing it all? At all all once. once. We've been on the road for 45 days. Wow. Yeah. That's well, awesome. you're looking good for that. Well, thank <laughs> yeah. you. Hopefully, well, yeah. you've got some good spots. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have. Yeah. yeah. Plenty, quite a trip. Hopefully, plenty of beer. No, no beer. No beer? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Getting yeah. drunk on something like this is probably not too good. Yeah, too yeah, good. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, good luck. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I was asking Tim about the uh, uh, the gondola here. It's run by Vail, uh, and what it does, it's a way to get people from down in the valley, I guess, uh, and the surrounding communities, wherever you're staying at, up to the ski resorts so you can go skiing. So it, it kind of takes the people to where the skiing's at because I'm assuming it's driving a car up there is probably pretty difficult. Are impossible. Oh, you couldn't drive a car. Okay, so yeah, this is the only way to get there when the snow's on the ground. 
So what you have here is, it's like another pickup point. This is the second pickup point that we've stopped or slowed down for. So if there's someone else needing a ride, they would jump on if they were in this location. Well, what would you guys like to do? <laughs> I have a store. Oh, yeah. did you? I'll walk it again. Okay. Oh, just just walking just to see what it looks like. It isn't usually this busy. Okay. But it's busy. 